So, a cinematic universe. You guys are doing this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How far have you planned out? We know you have Apocalypse. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, without giving too much away, have you planned out further? Well, we talked about another Wolverine movie. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about a Gambit movie. I'm very into the Gambit movie. And good. Is, is Channing Tatum still in the mix? Yes, he is. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> well, you know, one of the great things about the X-Men franchise is it has such a strong female fan base because it has so many great women characters. Yes. Uh, and you have Mystique has a really big role here. Yes. Well, might we see more come out to play, like Rogue in a Gambit movie or something? I think you will. I mean, I, I, any movie that doesn't feature the female... I mean, part of what's so great about the X-Men is how is how diverse and, and sort of relatable they are. And... And in those characters, you I can't imagine doing one without the strong no, female characters. No. And that's part of what drew me all to it, is, is it, it empowers females. And, mm -hmm. and they're just as strong, just as mighty as their male counterparts. Well, you guys were like, uh, Hugh Jackman was talking about the fact that you're the, you were the first on the scene, pretty much, with these superhero movies. Yes. How have you stayed in it for so long and stayed competitive? What do you think is you know your secret? Trying to be different every time we come out. Trying a different tone each time. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, and part of it is, you know, complex characters with the finest actors, I think, out there today, from Ian McKellen, you know, mm -hmm. down to um, uh, Evan Peters. And, um, but I think it's, if we're just different every time, if the movie looks different, if the movie feels different, and we're telling a different story, then hopefully people can come in and not feel like they've seen it before. Mm -hmm. Totally. I also think that the characters give you an amazing opportunity. You know, in, in First Class, they basically, it was sort of the Magneto or the, or the Eric story. Mm -hmm. And in Days of Future Past, it really is the introduction and the transition from Charles to Professor X. Mm -hmm. And those are, you know, those are real substantive character-based stories in and amongst an amazing cinematic world. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think that's the key. I think that's the key to movies in general, is that the audience has to rela relate and care about the characters. But I think it's been particularly true in the X-Men universe. You guys uh, have so many great characters, as you said. But now you kind of have two separate sets. You still have your two timelines, the past and the future. Are you mm -hmm. going to continue to explore both? Are you going to pick one and go in that direction? You know, the X-Men canon has always involved time travel. Mm -hmm. it's, it's part of their storytelling. So you never know.